Okay, so your teacher has assigned you a science stations activity to complete, and they want you to do it on the Google form that you're looking at right here. So what we're taking a look at is the layers of the Earth science stations. Um, you may be doing a different one, but they all work exactly the same. So on this form, there's going to be different sections. On each section, you need to follow the directions that are written there. Um, those could be modified by your teacher. Just make sure you follow those directions and do exactly what it says to do. So the first section is just your information. First and last name, email address, class period. Whatever's there, go ahead and complete that, and then you click Next. All right, on the first station, uh, the S of science is summarized. So you're going to read the article that's given to you, and you're going to write a short summary based on how much your teacher wants you to write. Okay, that could be facts, it could be statements, it could be interesting information, something you didn't know. Um, but whatever it says up here, go ahead and do that and fill that in right here where it says your answer. Then click Next. The next station is the Create station. So for layers of the earth or for whatever topic you're doing, you're going to pick three to five concepts to, that relate to that. And you're going to write or draw on a sheet of paper um, things that relate to that concept. So for layers of the earth, you could draw the earth, you could draw a model of the earth, you could draw the layers, you could write some uh, interesting facts about it, diagrams, illustrations, whatever you want to do on your sheet of paper, and you're going to take a picture of it, and you're going to click add file, and you're going to put that file there for your teacher to view. Once you've uploaded that picture, then you can go ahead and click next. That's going to take you to the interpret station. So on the interpret station, you're going to either have um, charts or data tables or graphs or images, something to look at. On this one, we have data tables, and you're going to go ahead and um, analyze that information and then answer the questions that are below. This one has six different questions that you would use um, this information up here to answer. Once you've done that, we'll click Next. That's going to take us to the experiment station. Your teacher will probably have specific instructions for how they want you to do this. Okay. They may have you um, do this at home, may have you do it at school, um, individually, maybe with partners. Uh, if you're at home um, through distance learning, your teacher may do this on a Zoom. Just depends. Read the directions up at the top and the, your teacher will tell you how they want you to complete that. Okay, this will be the only station that may have some different directions. Next is Navigate. On the Navigate station, you're given these cards here, and they are out of order. You have to put them in order, and once you put them in the right order, then you're, it's going to give you an answer down here that will answer the little riddle or the joke or the, the little saying down here. Okay, So you can't click and drag these. You're going to have to either get a sheet of paper or just remember what pattern you go in. The only one that's in the right order is the very first card always. This one right here says start. So what you're going to do, most of these deal with vocabulary or simple questions. You're going to read wherever it says start, read the definition that's there, and find the word that matches that definition. Okay. Once I find the word that matches that definition, that's my next card. Then I would go to the definition of the next one and find the next word, then the definition and word until I've done all of them. Okay. Once you have the correct order of which card goes next all the way to the end until you've used all of these cards here and you've got that correct order, then that pattern is going to give you the answer to this riddle down here. So if you look up in the corner, this was our first card start. The corner right there has the letter M. Once I go in the correct order, all of the letters that are in the corners of those cards in the correct order are going to spell a word or a phrase down here, and that's like your secret code. Okay, so all we know right now is the first letter is M, and we have to unscramble all the rest. Once we put those in order, it'll give us that answer. We can type that in there, and we'll be able to move to the next section. Okay, you have to use all the cards, all the letters in the correct order. All right. The next one is the challenge station. On the cha challenge station, you have a link right here that you have to click. Okay, There's 12 questions that we're going to answer, but we don't know what the questions are yet. All we know is that these are our answer choices, crust, mantle, outer core, inner core. Okay? So right here, you're going to have some cards that you're going to be using to answer those questions. So I'm going to click right there. 
it's going to take me to this website and you have to type in a pin number right here in this box and then click play okay your teacher is going to assign that pin number to you it's usually like four letters or four numbers or four letters and numbers okay but you'll type that in there you'll click play that's going to bring up some cards and those cards can have questions on them pictures different things that you'll be able to do and as you work through each one make sure you click what your answer was okay it's going to tell you if you got it right or wrong when you're going through those cards so if you get it wrong it's going to x if you get it right it's going to ding when you get the dinging or the bell sound and you know you got it right come back to this form click what the answer was and then move on to the next one okay that's the challenge station it requires a pen that your teacher is going to give you then we have the extend station it's like a real world application so you read the question type your answer it's something you may want to look up on your phone or on the computer just to learn a little bit more about it or you can just use um, what you already know about the topic okay and then the last thing that you're going to do is a student reflection this is super important that you do this um, truthfully okay your teachers not um, probably not going to grade this uh, or, or count your answers wrong here okay they might grade that you actually did it but there's no right or wrong answers here okay so what did you understand the best what are you struggling with the most what do you need to do to improve your understanding and then rate yourself on a zero to ten scale zero means like I don't get this at all these topics are super confusing and a ten means this was easy I got it there's no problem at all okay once you've done that you've answered all the sections you've answered the student reflection then you click submit and that's going to send your answers to your teachers that's it